It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And up next, we'll see Jalen Hurts. He's going to have to air it out plenty this week. It's the Eagles and the Falcons on Monday Night Primetime. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They've been buoyed by getting two home games right at the start, and they come off a good victory in week one. In the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. Meanwhile, for the visiting Falcons, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually... The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. Up to midfield. Escapes the defender. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Eagles. So a heck of a start to this one. We haven't even gotten settled in already in the end zone on the opening kickoff. And you know what happens, too? Now, now, now you got to translate what that means because I think for the team that just scored, their defense, I think they'll be more aggressive now. They'll be bolder. They're five and up to the 28-yard line. So the Falcons make their way out behind their new quarterback for 2024. Signed back in March, the veteran Kirk Cousins. I love this quote during the week. If I were a defensive back, I would have wanted to play against me last week as well. <laughs> He's trying to limit to do is double their efforts to make him even more frustrated. He's got to gather himself, compose himself, and keep fighting. Well, he talked a lot about erasing that loss last week, getting back in the win column. We'll see how he responds. Way down inside the 30. Here's first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. Touchdown, Eagles! A.J. Brown, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles go up by two touchdowns. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off the incompletion. Cousins from the gun on third. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Falcons. Rondale Moore, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Falcons are back within a score. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one, drive number Find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. And that's going to be cut for an Eagles touchdown. A.J. Brown with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles had six to their lead in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's got to draw a little more attention and cover. Now, to the air again, it's Cousins. That is caught. Touchdown! Rondell Moore with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Falcons have got it back to within a score. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big... To throw his Cousins. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. It's Sidney Brown with it. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, the defense obviously could not have drawn up a better start to the second half. They're holding on to that slim lead, just looking for a stop. Not only do they get the stop, Charles, they get the pick six. Another example that life comes at you fast, doesn't it? One play ago, they're defending a slim lead coming out of the break. Now they're one more stop. Throwing his hurts. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. Through the middle of the field. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. 
A.J. Brown. 81 yards. And the Eagles will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that. An offense in the second half. Here's first and ten. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. Touchdown, Falcons! Kyle Pitts, 32 yards! And the Falcons have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting. Touchdown! Drake London, a five-yard touchdown. And the Falcons have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair of... Well, you don't have to beg the Philly faithful to make noise on their feet for third down. They're able to find the open man. That's complete. Down to the 10. And he is in as they have tied it late here in the final minute of the fourth quarter. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, And then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're playing? They'll look to throw. Gets this to Campbell out on the right side. And he'll get the lines. We take a break. The kick by Elliott is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. And you know, in an era of cost cutting and maximizing. Here's Cousins. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. And Charles, in this one, the fourth quarter became a lot more interesting, I know, than I anticipated, probably you anticipated, a comeback bid falling just a little bit short. You're never supposed to count a team out, and I know we did not air, but mentally, I just didn't see this type of a comeback, especially one that put them in a position to put the real pressure on them down the stretch. So for the Eagles, they use the favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. And, and they will hit the road next week for a date with the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves 